Alright, so today I have a city tweak for you guys. It's called Guest Mode, which if that makes any sense to you, you'll already know what this is. But what it does is just uh, enables like a second profile so that uh, when you give your phone to someone else or your iPod, um, you can disable certain apps and features. Um, which could eliminate any reason for you not to let someone borrow your iPod. I mean, pretty much the only thing I have enabled is games. And that's about the only thing they can use. So if somebody wants to play some games on my iPod and I'm not using it, I'll be like, sure, why not? Because they can't do anything else. But uh, it's called Guest Mode, and it's 99 cents. So check it out in the City of Store. But uh, let's get into this. So Settings, and then Guest Mode. And then you get in here, and it's not enabled. But I enabled it because I've already been in here a few times. But just enable it. And then the great thing about this is there's quite a few methods to entering guest mode. Guest mode left. Guest button left. Guest button right. Swipe left. Swipe right. Activator gesture. Um, I couldn't get any of those to work with Jelly Lock. If you have Jelly Lock, I really like Jelly Lock. You can check that out on the City of Store too. But that's another video. But it's just like Activator, um, you can choose any action that you would be able to choose for Activator on any other thing. Um, I just have it set left to right, slide, bottom of the screen. Um, guest passcode, um, I don't know why he'd want that. Because the whole reason I use guest mode is so they can't do anything. But I mean, if you want to make sure nobody uses it unless they have your permission, you can turn that on. And then use time. Just makes the passcode 513-0513 because you put a zero in front of it. You can also disable the camera, but I just left it on because I can delete the pictures quite easily if somebody decides to spam my pictures. But I'm not worried about that. But then here's where you get a set with uh, available notification center. Um, I leave that on because I don't really care if they see my notifications. Uh, control Center, App Switcher, Spotlight, they want to search, Siri, they can go ahead and use Siri, Newsstand, don't care, Phone Dialer, because this is an iPod, if it was an iPhone, I'd probably turn that off, um, don't even have Safari, not worried about that, but you can make it so they can only use one tab on Safari, and then you can enable whatever apps you choose, and I just have all my games basically selected, and a few default apps like Calculator, but, uh, you can just go through there and you just click and it'll let you. But then let's get into this and actually show you guest mode. So I'm going to lock my device. And I will say it is a little bit buggy sometimes on activating it, but sometimes it just works great there. Left to right. And you can't really tell in the video, Eric, but uh, these icons are dark. If I try to click on them, literally nothing happens. But if I click on a game like Tiny Wings, it opens up and you can play any game you want. All my dock icons are disabled. They can open folders, but they're disabled in there just like they would be. And obviously they have this, Notification Center, and Control Center. So I mean, it's basically like you using it, just you can disable whatever you want. So they can't use it, and if you, you want to let people borrow your iPod, iPhone, no big deal because there's nothing to lose. So uh, thanks for watching. Like the video, comment, and subscribe.